So as you can see, my Samsung DLP TV is throwing up the check the fan number three. So uh, we can tear this apart and uh, see if we can uh, replace a fan or fix that so it no longer gives us that air. So I got the TV turned around here and I got to take the back off. But uh, before we do that, I got it unplugged and all the inputs are disconnected. So there's nothing hooked up right now. No power. Don't want to get electrocuted or anything while we do this. Um, so I can take out the screws back there. These ones here, up there along the top. And the two back there. And there's some along the bottom here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll have to take that cover off the inputs yet. But uh, we'll see. Let's get this back cover off and uh, see what we're dealing with here. So I got the back off. And if you look right here. There's a little, this is a safety switch, um, so if you try to power it up with the um, cover off, you'll have to uh, do that switch there. Uh, you can put a piece of tape over it. Now if you look right there, you'll see there's three fan connectors. Um, I believe this is one, two, and the bottom one is three, and I believe this fan right here is actually the number three. So. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that out of there and replace that without taking the whole thing apart. Now there's a screw right here and there's another screw back in there. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, but those two are going to have to come out in order for me to get that fan out of there. So uh, we'll see if we can get those out without tearing the whole thing apart. But we'll see. Also I'm going to go ahead and pull the bulb out of there. So let me do that. Okay, so I managed to get the first screw out of here, and I also managed to get my screwdriver back in here. So I can uh, turn that screw and get that screw out without taking this completely apart. So if you can do this, you'll save a lot of work. Otherwise, you got to take this whole panel and everything off. So uh, let me get that screw out, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I managed to get the whole so part loose here and there's some little tabs under there that you got to get out um, and you have to bring these wires around but basically we're gonna have to get to the other side of this to get that fan out of there so you finish pulling that out so I got the unit out I flipped around where I can get at the fan and basically now I got to take out two screws down there and a screw up here and uh, the fan will come out of there. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got the wires soldered on here for the new connector, or the connector that was on there for this fan that I got. And uh, now we'll put this fan in there and see if that fixes the problem. All right, so we got the fan secured in there. Now we just got to put the carrier back in there. Go ahead and get that in those hooks. Like so. Right. Going to need to be able to plug that in there. Uh, this goes back up around over here. It wasn't easy to get that back screw in there, but I managed to get it started with some, some tweezers here. Um, you can see it's back in there. Uh, we'll try and tighten it. We're going to tighten those guys up and then we'll hook the wire up and test it out. All right, I have everything mounted back in there. You can see I got the new fan in there. The wires are hooked back up here. I have a piece of tape on the um, 
safety switch so we can uh, plug it in. I'm going to plug it in and uh, at least make sure the fan's going to turn on. It. And it's turning on. You see the light? Fan is spinning good. So, uh, we'll just have to see if this clears the air. Hopefully this fan has enough RPMs to uh, register that it is uh, working good. So we'll see. So the Sunon fan that I tried to put in there didn't work. But I found this Delta. I think this Delta might work because it's got a higher speed. So it should be about 4,000 RPMs where this one was only maybe 2,600, 2,800. Not exactly sure. Couldn't find the specs. But uh, it's still throwing the air so I'm going to try this higher speed fan and uh, see if that will fix the issue. Now I gotta splice the end on there again. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that and give it a try. So I got my connector wired on the Delta fan. And on this one you got the red, the black, and this one has a blue wire that connects to the yellow. That's the tack feed there. So uh, some of these are yellow, some of them are blue. Um, there's a couple other colors there, but the red and the black is always the positive and negative. Although I think sometimes the negative might be a white, depending on which fan you have. So um, for the most part, you just match up the colors, but the tack might be a different color. All right. So I've got the Delta fan in there. And uh, we're going to put the screws in. I'm going to try a little different technique this time. So this time, before I even put this in there, I'm going to get the screw in there. And then we'll get this back into the position where it's got to go. Hopefully, without the screw falling out there. There we go. And that's where that sits. So now I should hopefully be able to get my screwdriver. Uh, I found it's easier to bring it up. Hello. Let's try doing it this way. There we go. So there we go, back screw is in, and we get the front one, and the found mounting brackets back in there, pretty good, so, alright, we gotta hook up our wires, alright, nothing to it, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I got all the wires and everything hooked up. I got the bulb back in. Let's turn it on and uh, see if it works. We got power, we got the fan spinning. It looks like there's still a problem. It is? It's still complaining. Yeah. Well, I got the fan in there and it's working and it's blowing pretty good, but it's still coming up with the check fan number three here. But it blinks different now. I'm um, definitely changed something. But uh, I think I'm going to consider this a successful failure. So the two fans that I tried failed. So I went and finally I went and got a genuine Samsung replacement. So this is the new one. There's the old one that I took out. So we're gonna try this genuine replacement one and see if that gets rid of our uh, check fan number three here. So uh, 
uh, let me put this in there and uh, we'll try it. See how that got works. the TV back together with the replacement fan, the genuine Samsung. I got it off of eBay for like twenty bucks. Um, anyways, no more uh, check fan number three here, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I believe the issue with the first replacement was that the RPM was too low for the sensor. And then the second fan, not sure if the RPM was too high or that it sensed that it was drawing too much power. Um, but that one didn't work. But anyways, I uh, finally successfully fixed this. Had to spend 20 bucks for a fan. Kind of wish I could have got one of the ones I had to work, but... Uh, I guess that's how it goes sometime anyway thanks for thanks for watching and uh good luck with your uh dlp tv and the fans thanks